Hello everyone, Dr. Delopo here. We're going to talk about hip pain or just pain in general, but there is one case that I really want to talk about today and it's about lower back and hip pain. Um, this October 15th Sunday, we'll be teaching Qigong at the beach. We'll be playing at 9 a.m. So if you want to join us, contact me 619-341-4341. Now let's go to this hip pain. This is a woman who's a grandmother, a grandmother and she had been, she used to limp and she uh, had a hard time walking and her hip is 80% better today, October 11, 2023. So this is a case of a woman who has come in not extremely aggressively, but pretty consistently. Um, the reason why I wanna do this video at only 80% improvement is because she just came back from a 17 day vacation which included a cruise, but she was walking 10 to 15,000 steps a day. And um, wherever they would go, her husband would ask her, are you gonna be okay walking? And he was surprised that she was able to walk so well during her trip. And so let me give you the dates of this, this, um, these treatments, because this is important. A lot of times, um, this is my, I'm going on my 25th year in practice now, and the same questions that are asked today were questions ba asked back in 1999 and in between. Can you help this condition and how long is it gonna take? And I tell people the beginning phase for easy cases is those first 10 treatments. The beginning phase of chronic issues is the first 20 treatments. So in this case, we're gonna talk about chronic issues. Um, this is a chronic pain and she's had 19 treatments. And so what I tell people is if you go under once a week and you'll see this in my accountability video and my expectations video, my biggest pet peeve is to hear from someone, oh, I tried this acupuncturist or you know, I'm not seeing results. And I tell people it has to be done like this Otherwise, you need to be extremely patient or oftentimes you're not getting that momentum to heal at the level you want, at the speed you want. And that's what we love. We live in a very instant gratification soul society. And even though we know things may, it took a while to get there, that pain. It took a while to gain that weight. It took a while to have that mental health issue. So you can't expect in five to 10 treatments that you're 100% better. Um, if you're 30 to 50% better in those first five to 10 treatments, that's good. Um, but if you're not, then there we have to look at how many treatments, if you need to do herbs, if there are other things we need to talk about, lifestyle and things like that. In this case, um, my colleague, Pam Cower, she's a registered nurse and a licensed acupuncturist, and I, we have, and also Dr., I believe Dr. Shore Omidi, um, doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine, and Pam Cower is a licensed acupuncturist and a registered nurse. We have worked as a team in treating this woman. So let me give you the dates, uh, June 20, 22, 29 so three treatments in june beginning the 20th remember there was a total of 19 there were a total of 19 treatments in july i'm going to put on my glasses she received july 1 5 8 10 14 19 26 so let's go to july she had one two three four five six seven treatments so three in June, um, six treatments, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven treatments. So that was a total of 10 treatments so far between June 20 and July 26. So in a month and seven days, she had received 10 treatments. And then in August, she received August 4, 9, 14, 16, 21, 29. So in August, she received one, two, three, four, five, six treatments. Let me make sure this does not include any cancel treatments. One, two, three, four, five, six treatments in August. So, so far, that's 16 treatments between the end of June, July, August. 
and then we had only three in September. September not seven, 14, 19, then she went away on her trip. So just want to let you know, despite um, her not being as aggressive in September, we were able to, her ability to come in a little more frequently, especially in the first three treatments, and then in July, and then in August, so she's not at 100% yet, but you have to look at it like, okay, 19 treatments since June 22, July, August, September, October 11, so three and a half months, she's 80% better. That's how I look at things as a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. I don't look at it like, oh, you know, why isn't she better yet? Five treatments and she's not 80%. I look at, you're looking at the progress right now. And let me just make sure... Um, I didn't miss any other practitioners. I think it's uh, Pam. We work six to seven days a week here. So she received one, two, three, four. The majority of them were between uh, Pam and me. In the beginning, it was me, Dr. Delopo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight treatments total actually one of those 19 treatments was a massage with nicole i just saw this so she received this 90 minute massage swedish uh, massage with nicole davidson so there were 18 treatments so i apologize for that i just want to give you a working example of how you know this is what's going on right now it's like pretty much live and so if you had pain and you're trying to figure out, can I heal? You have to understand it took a while to get where you're at. We need to get you to a point where, you know, you need to understand in order to get to 80, 90, 100%. At 80%, a person's already feeling like, wow, yes, I can get there. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe I can save my hip. I am walking better. The people around you are like, wow, you're walking a lot. You're walking up and down the hill. You were able to go on vacation with us. You are able to ride your bike. These, you know, things that you can do start building confidence. I have another woman here, and she's at 60% improvement. And she had asked me, can I prevent surgery? And I told her that if you're 50 to 80% improved by treatment um, 10 you're probably gonna think, no, I don't need surgery right now. Um, she, this woman had pain, she had pain, but it wasn't severe, and she went and got an epidural, and that person, um, that doctor who gave her the epidural, put her in tremendous pain, and that's why she's here. So that's a little bit of a different case. So September 18, similar, similar issue, sciatic pain, um, this is more in her lower sacred iliac area, right at the top of her butt kind of area, uh, going down to the side of her leg, um, especially the lower leg. So September 18, September 21, September 23, September 25, 26, 29. So September, that's one, two, three, four, five, six treatments in September. Then October 2, 3, 6, 10 and 11. So let's see how many treatments total since September 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It is in 11 treatments, she's 60% or in 10 treatments, because today's her 11th treatment, she's here today, she's at 60% improvement. So you're, this is what it takes. And so the other day when she came in she was 50 percent so when you're feeling 50 80 90 plus percent this is what what makes people feel like you know what maybe I can do this and if we have to then we can prepare you for surgery and that's a different video I help people prepare for surgery but sometimes some doctors are like let's see what can happen I'm getting a lot more referrals from medical doctors you know let's try this and um, some people are saying you know you have to do the surgery and I work with them and they go back to their doctor and they're like, I didn't need to do this to do the surgery. If you go to uh, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, you'll see, if you go to um, just do a search for brain hemorrhage 
and migraines, and that person didn't have to have the surgery. She was told the only way to heal your brain hemorrhage in your, the hemorrhage in your brain and the migraines is through surgery. Well, she was not able to do that, especially during 2020, because she lived alone, no spouse, no children to take care of her. And I started, um, the testimonial shows that she started February and she wrote that to testimonial November, same year. She wrote that testimonial November 11. And I still see her once in a while, one to four times a month, typically, um, these days, one to two times a month, she's just here to sleep. She's not here for the hemorrhage. She's not here for her brain scans. Great. She has no migraines. Acupuncture can really help you with pain. So if you'd like to have more of a discussion about what you're going through, contact us at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. Uh, text me at 619-341-4341. My name is Dr. Delopo. I have other doctors that work with me also, Dr. Hui, Dan, uh, Hui Jadeng. She speaks um, Cantonese and Mandarin. We have Pam Kaur. She's a licensed acupuncturist and registered nurse. She speaks Hindi, Punjabi, and another Indian dialect, which I can't remember right now. And um, they all speak English. And then uh, Dr. Shoryomi D and Dr. Hope Lin are on vacation right now. And we have an amazing 20 plus years experience, neuromuscular sports, massage therapist, Nicole Davidson. We are here to serve you. You don't have to be in pain. I'm turning 50. I don't really have pain. I don't have pain. I don't have pain. And if I do, I treat it right away. So we're a team. We're here to help you. Contact us, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. I hope this was very helpful to help you understand how many treatments it can take consistently and with frequency to help you heal from your pain or any other health issue. You'll, you'll see a lot of other things that we treat at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. All right, take care. Have a great day.